Directed by Adam Wingard, Godzilla vs Kong is the new entry in the MonsterVerse that follows humanity going on a mission with the assistance of King Kong due to the uncertainty of why Godzilla is going on a killing spree without any apparent reason. If you're an attentive subscriber of this channel, then you acknowledge the fact that I'm obsessed with Godzilla movies. I've watched the old ones a lot, the animated series as well, and I really like the 2014 film. I have so many issues with King of the Monsters though, mostly because of how bad the story and the characters were and how pissed off I got when the fights kicked in, always cutting to humans messing with stuff every 10 seconds. The marketing for this movie was insane. The amount of teasers and promotional clips is something that has bothered me before with King of the Monsters. If you see those it pretty much gives you the whole plot. Even if here there's still good surprises, I try to stay away from every other trailer after the first one. Yes, I heard a lot of rumors around a certain who present in the film, but I just turned my brain off from that. The same thing right before going into this. I didn't want to set my expectations way too high like I did with the previous entry so I just went in as calm as I could. And I gotta say that after watching the movie, it was the best thing that I could have done. I've said this in my King of the Monsters review, hype is a problem, and I restrained so much going into Godzilla vs Kong that the movie did nothing but astound me. So I'd say that your amusement while watching this movie depends on what you expect from it. If you're looking for a consistent story, well, this isn't for you. If you want to see huge monsters fighting and bet who bows to who, you'll get what you want. This film delivers on that, with an extra flavor that is truly what I, as a fan, was delighted to see. As for the story, unfortunately it has the exact same problems as the preceding film regarding the human part. Every plot point here only serves to sustain the fact that we are gonna have these two heavyweights face each other. I still think that at least here there's more reason behind of what's happening. And as the narrative unfolds, there are some intriguing ideas, particularly with the Hollow Heart piece. I loved the sci-fi elements implemented, and I wish I got more invested if the script wasn't so convoluted. It didn't retain my interest and I was only waiting for the next big fight to occur. And that's where it has my heart. This movie seems to have this self-awareness that understands what the fans want from it. So even with the really bad dialogue and weird plot, it doesn't sound pretentious and delivers what you want in huge amounts of epic action scenes. Again, if you're the type of person for it. Talking about those battles and visuals in general, the cinematography here is crisp and vivid. At some points there's this Jurassic Park vibe in between that I really enjoy. The visual effects are top notch for the most and the CGI combined with the color palette and the camera angles creates this spectacle that I was just observing while watching. It's super entertaining and again, they hurt the fans. There's no cutting to humans doing meaningless things and then cutting back to other 10 seconds of cuddling between the monsters. Here there are entire scenes only with the monsters on an ongoing brawl and it's so well choreographed. Also, doing a lot of references to the old films, especially when it comes to goofiness. To illustrate what I mean by it, there's even a close-up of Godzilla's face while it kinda smiles. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's that silly to an extent. And as a fan, I appreciate it. To talk about the next big thing, I'm gonna dive into spoilers now. So you might wanna stop here if you haven't seen the movie and come back later when you finished. You've been warned. I didn't dig much how Mechagodzilla looks in this movie. I mean, artistically, it looks impressive and terrifying, but I was expecting it to look a bit more like with his appearance on Ready Player One, for example. Also, I completely ignored the writing for how he functions, even with some interesting and peculiar references to the old material. His implementation here feels very odd. Still, the team up against him and everything leading up to that moment was extraordinary. I'm gonna give Godzilla vs Kong a solid 7.5 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts on this one. What's your favorite kaiju movie? Leave a comment and if you enjoy my reviews and you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel. See ya!